Hi everyone, this is Taylor, your lead sports dietitian at Recover. Today we're at Whole Foods Market, downtown Brickell, and we wanted to show you what are the best vegan options at the store. So come along with us. All right, so now we're standing in front of the non-dairy options for milk. We have lots of options here, and I bet you're wondering, which one do I choose? There's lots of vegan options, tons of dairy, and calorie and sugar content, but the best vegan option for milk would be the Khalifa Farms, um, and that is because there's only three ingredients. There is water, organic almonds, and sea salt. So this would be the purest, most natural vegan option of milk that there would be available. Okay, so now we're in front of the non-dairy yogurt section. So we have a bunch of options here. So Delicious, Silk, Kite Hill. The thing is, with a lot of these products, there is lots of additives, unneeded chemicals that are added into these non-dairy yogurts. Um, so I would recommend the Kulina dairy-free yogurt. The only ingredients are hand-shucked organic coconut, water, agar, and probiotic cultures. And this will also give you um, some healthy probiotics in there as well. So now we're standing in front of the plant-based burger options. So lots of these uh, plant-based burgers are filled with tons of filler and soy. Uh, so I would recommend the Noble, the True Veggie Burger. If you look at the ingredient label, we have lots of organic lentils, organic brown rice, organic fruits, um, and chia seeds as a binder, which is a good replacement in terms of other binders, which can be chemical-based like lots of these products seen over here. So now we're standing in front of the frozen vegetable section here at Whole Foods. And I just thought it was a good point to bring up that frozen vegetables actually are just as healthy as fresh vegetables. You're not losing any vitamins or minerals because these frozen vegetables are actually frozen at the peak of ripeness. So in many times, these frozen vegetables might actually contain more nutrients than fresh vegetables. So now we're standing in front of the snack section. Um, lots of snacks are vegan, but as you know, there are ways to be an unhealthy vegan. So we want to make sure we're choosing the healthiest options um, in terms of vegan snacks. So here is some grain-free tortilla chips um, that are actually made with cassava flour. These grain-free tortilla chips only have a handful of ingredients, so this would be the best option. You can buy a salsa, a fresh guacamole, and serve these on the side. So now we're in the prepared section of Whole Foods. You're here with your friends, you want something quick, you want something ready to eat, um, this would be a good option. This is their quinoa and mint salad. So one cup of quinoa actually has eight grams of protein, so that is still a protein source that you could eat as a vegan. Um, and here we have roasted sweet potato, rosemary, garlic wedges. These are roasted, not fried. So this is definitely a healthier option, and that can help you get your fry fix in. Now we're in the prepared soup section here at Whole Foods. So as you can see right here, this soup is vegan. This is the red lentil soup, and this whole container has 22 grams of protein. So that is still a good bit of protein for someone that is vegan. This can be a very good option for you. If you're here with your friends, you're here on your lunch break, this can be a quick option that's prepared that you can eat on your lunch break. If you made it this far in the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Remember, better recovery, better performance. This is Taylor Shedd, your lead sports dietitian here at Recover, and we out.